In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Bearded Dragon's lights. Bearded Dragons need heat lamps to get really hot as they bask. Many guides will tell you to use a temperature gun to measure the power of a heat bulb. They are wrong. I can put two identical bulbs of the same wattage side by side running at full power, one over rocks and one over grass, and you're going to get completely different surface temperature readings on your temperature gun even though the power of both bulbs are identical. Surface temperatures underneath a basking lamp aren't a direct measure of the power a heat bulb is giving out. Only a power meter can do that. This is a power meter. It directly measures the power given from a heat bulb. You want it to read somewhere between 300 to 400. That will be linked down below. However, if you aren't going to get one or you don't have one anyway, you can guesstimate the power of a bulb by watching your dragon's behavior. So I'd recommend starting with a 100 watts Exoterra intense basking spot or a 100 watt Zoomed basking lamp and have that at 30 centimeters away from the basking site. If your bearded dragon basks for around half an hour and then goes away and then later on in the afternoon comes back and basks for another half an hour, that's bang on perfect and it's exactly what they should be doing. If they absolutely avoid the basking spot entirely, especially outside of summer and winter and they're doing that in spring and autumn, then the basking spot may be just too intense for them. And on the flip side, if your bearded dragon is basking all day long, what that's telling you is it can't raise its core body temperature up to an appropriate amount. And in this case, you can swap the bulb for a higher wattage and watch and reassess. Just make sure that your bearded dragon can't get so close that they can burn their skin. If you can hold your hand under the lamp and it doesn't burn your hand or make you really uncomfortable, then you know that the lamp is safe at full power. You wanna take this heat lamp and put it on one side of your tank so that the other side remains shaded. So if they want to get out of the sun and go cool down in the shade, they can. That way it's totally a choice like they would in the wild. The next part of our Bearded Dragons lighting setup is UVB. UVB is essential in keeping our Bearded Dragons healthy and avoiding diseases like metabolic bone disease. We can provide UVB by giving them special lamps. A good recommendation is the 24 watt Zoomid 10.0 T5 lamp and you can put that inside Zoomed's own terrarium hood. This is a great lamp for our bearded dragons. Just make sure they can't get any closer to the bulb than 20 centimeters or be further away than 30 at the basking site. That means that between those distances, that's the Goldilocks zones for giving them the perfect amount of UVB right there. That's for me doing the maths if there's no obstructions between the back of your bearded dragon basking and the actual bulb itself. If you've got your bulb on top of mesh, things are going to change a little bit. So the mesh will somewhat reduct the light and different size meshes of different brands will reduce the amount of light at different percentages. The mesh from Custom Reptile Habitats reduces it by 23%. For Exoterra and Zoomed, the meshes reduce it by 35% roughly and PetSmart's Thrive Mesh blocks it by 60%. So you can see on this chart, I've actually done the maths for you and told you what it will be by different meshes at different distances from the bulb. So with either Exoterra or Zoomed meshes, you will probably want to be closer to 20 centimeters distance. With PetSmart's Thrive Mesh, I'd recommend mounting the bulbs inside on the underside of the mesh if you can, or just don't use Thrive altogether. Again, we want to take this bulb and put it on the same end as our heat lamp to make and build up our sunshine patch to make sure that we keep shade on the other end and we're keeping this dynamic of sunshine and shade so they can go out and bask and go cool down like they would in nature. This is enough to keep our bearded dragons healthy and avoid metabolic bone disease, but it isn't enough to truly make them thrive and be firing on all cylinders. This is where LED lights come in. I would very much recommend giving them an LED to brighten up that sunshine patch. Your bearded dragon will naturally be more energetic, more alert, and it'll help with the hormone cycle. A good choice is a Sansi LED spotlight from Amazon. Not only is this relatively cheap compared to other lamps, but it packs a punch at the same time. Unluckily, this one is as simple as turning the lamp on. With these three lamps, your bearded dragon will have a great basking spot. Make sure you turn all lights off at night so your bearded dragon has that darkness to go to sleep. If you want more detailed information and more guided learning, I'm putting out courses on my Patreon as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. So check that out, linked below, and I'll see you in the next video.